Stop in here. Oh. What's mm -hmm. right? First yep. three. Smells good here. Three fourteen. Okay. Let's see three eighteen. 315. Hello, Hello. 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 As I requested, I am here in Fort Walton, Florida again. See over there's the bay. There's the big buildings. Anyway, we are here at the Sea Dunes here in Fort Walton, Florida, which um, today is Thursday, so I had to make a quick video. And make a big. There's the elevator. We'll check out on a separate video. Over here is the MPE. There's our doorbell, ring doorbell, Honeywell Pulse Station, EST, Horn Strobe. Over there, that is a place called the Nautilus Condo, which I was over there earlier this morning, which they had two elevators, but that one over there was broken, so only that one works. There's the pool. And up here's the roof, which Unfortunately, <laughs> can't go up here because it's blocked off for safety. So this is the MPE. There's unit 601. There's a bathroom fan and a dryer thing. Unit 602. It's locked. LED lights. Here's the elevator. Check this. I got the other on a separate video. Trash chute. <laughs> smells mm -hmm. good here. That's the trash chute. I gotta wash my hands. I'm not going to mess with that. Down there's the parking lot. And then there's the little roof, which is locked off. Here's the bay. Here's the other MPE. This, this place has actually six, uh, 24 units total on each. There's four units on each floor. That's 601, that's 602, and that's 603. Oh, that doesn't work. Anyway. Honeywell Pulse Station. EST. Horn strobe. You just push that in and pull that down, but I can't pull it. Anyway, and here is our unit, 604. And this is actually a key thing. But no carts allowed yet. There's a doorbell, which I'm not gonna ring right now because all my uncle, and aunt, my mom down at the beach, but my brother and his girlfriend are in one of the bedrooms, so I'm not, I'm not gonna, first one I'm going, I'll have to get this bedroom last because my girlfriend, or not my, my brother and his girlfriend are in there and I don't wanna wake them up, so. So yeah, so, so here's the combination code. Beep, 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 beep. So as you can see, so I'm going to enter in a code 
So see there's that. So I'm gonna enter in a code. Then I'm gonna gotta hit check. Voila. Here we go. So I have to um so watch this. I can hit check. See? So this doesn't lock automatically, so you have to if if you're if, if you're leaving the condo, you have to lock it automatically. See? See it's got a little window, kinda like a hotel room does. No smoking. Here's the hallway. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the bedroom. This is the bedroom where me and my mom are sleep stay. Close the door. Just feature a ceiling fan. Look at this. Harbor breeze. This one, this one's a remote. You know what? I want I'll make a separate video of all the fans, but we'll just I'll turn it on. Look at this. See this reverse switch? Watch this. See? Wanna but right now it's winter time, so I wanna I'll just leave it on high. <laughs> Light. That feels good. Here's a Visa flat screen TV. Here's this is a Cox remote. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. All right. I'll turn that off. Here's there's all my crap, my undies, socks, hats. Here's the cabinets. There's a little shake weight I brought that. Ow. All right. Oh, here's my mom's. This is my mom's drawer. And out here, so there's the MPE. Over there's the bay. Over there's the water burger. There's the bay. Here's a light. Turn this fan back down. All right. Here's a little light here, which I, this is actually my bulb. Check this. See? Here's all my stuff. Ah. See? There's some hotel key cards a friend gave me yesterday. Here's a, here's the closet. Look at this. This closet actually has a plug. I have never stayed in the condo with a closet that has a plug. And as you can see, these two Lasco fans, these are actually the condo, so. So this one, this one belongs to the condo. So does this one. See? I gotta tighten that screw up later. And then in here is the my mom's closet. That's kind of weird. I've never stayed in a condo, a closet that has a plug-in. Kind of like last year when I was at the Island Princess, that the closet like that. <laughs> Notice how that TV was in the closet. LOL. <laughs> Here's the bed. That's where my mom slept. This is where I slept. And then of course, here's my weather radio. I always take weather radios with me on trips wherever I go. I like this painting right here. It's a really high ceiling. I love the ceiling fan. Air conditioner, sprinkler, smoke, carbon, maybe carbon monoxide, I'm not quite sure. I like the tile, the tile's really nice. Now we work our way into the bathroom. 
So, here's, I don't know the name of this toilet. Trash can, I gotta empty that out. Here's a sink, a little night light. I put a LED light in there and make it brighter. Look at me, what do you see? Hey. See? All the lights come on at the same time. These two lights are burned out, but these work. These are halogen. I, I hate halogen. I like LED better. One of these has a burnt out bulb, so yeah. This is a green heck um, fan. It's a little dusty. I'm gonna have to, maybe I can try to clean it. Watch this. See that? Got little jets. See that? Oh, this is kind of. I wish. I, I wish. Oh, I just dropped my butt off thing. See? really nice under here we got towels Ooh, <laughs> look at this there's a blow dryer there's some soap toilet paper this is a on air blow dryer 18 from 1875 I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it It's from 1875 or 1875. Yeah. My. Yeah. I know I like to video condos when I first get here, but it just depends on how busy I am. So There's the plunger and the brush, toilet brush. Anyway, this is the bathroom. Now, yeah, look at this. So see, this this is what this remote's for. That switch turns the fan on, but you got to have a remote to activate that. So that's why. See, battery. The battery right there. Anyway, so yeah, that's their battery now. Now, there's that. So now, we'll uh, check this. It's a hall light. Look at that. I really like it. Here is the washer. It's locked. Here's the dryer. Yeah. There's a sprinkler in there, but there's there's no light in here. See over there's the iron board. There's the iron. There's the iron board. Here's all the laundry detergent. Whirlpool washer. Whirlpool dryer. Yeah. Notice how there's no um light in here. 
and then you have, yeah, actually, the cycle signal, I actually have this turned off because I don't like that buzzing sound, but when the buzzer goes off, notice how right here in the bedroom, if you're sleeping and you have this turned on, and, the, and it's trying to close that goes off in the middle of the night, wakes you up, like, if the machines are running, um, pretty much the dryer, if the buzzer goes off, it'll, like, wake you up. Please remove lint after each load. There's a sprinkler. All right. Now, I'll turn this light off. Lock that back. Look at this. Look at these little surge protector has this little, not such record, this outlet cover's got little LED lights. It's really cool, we got these little night lights. Look at me, who do you see? Hey, look at me, who do you see? Hey, look at me, who do you see? Hello. Here's the kitchen. So if I stop the video, it's because my brother and, and I think my brother and his girlfriend are awake, so they don't like. There's a sprinkler pantry. It's all of our junk food or snacks. This is a whirlpool refrigerator. And here's the freezer. That's weird. So notice how the lights come on. It's kind of weird when you shut the refrigerator door. Watch this. It shuts the light off. Shuts the light off in the freezer. So you have to have this open for it to come on. Oh. Now, here's a. Some LED lights. This is like, like cable and lights. There's a the fridge. And this key, this is actually to the mailbox downstairs over by the elevator. There's the instructions if you want to read that. Pause the video now. Little light. Here's some cabinets with some glasses. There's the coffee maker, toaster. Here's the microwave. Fan. Out of air. Medium. It's got four speeds. Oh, there's the plates. maker blender here's the plates that's the microwave here's the oven oven stove here's some store stuff down here hey turn it on see turns the light on Coffee maker. Oh, I already looked in there. See, there's the. If you want to read that, pause the video now. Here's the sink. We got a little. At the sink. And here is the fire extinguishers. Got the fire extinguishers, blender. Dishwasher. Here's under 
over here. There's like a mixer. And here's some more tablets. This here is a so you got your that's your water heater and your pump air conditioner. Here's a touch screen thermostat. This, this is a closet that's, this closet's locked because they, the owners keep like their store stuff in there. Here's a, There's the living room. It's a dining room. There's some. There's a flag. Here's the owners. If you want to read that, there's the flag warnings. Red means it's closed. Or double red means it's closed. Red means it's high hazard, medium, yellow means the medium hazard, green means it's good, and purple means there's dangerous animals like jellyfish or stingrays or sharks, and I don't want you in there. Seaside treasure. See, this switch controls the same thing as that one does. I'm going to get in the other bedroom. All right. A little better here. This is the master bedroom where my Aunt Molly and Uncle Joey stay. Look at me. Who do you see? Hey. Yeah, my brother just got up, so I'm being a little quiet. Here is a Viso flat screen TV, just like the one in my room, only this one's a little smaller. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. So there's the cabinet. Tomorrow's our last day, so I gotta. I'm, I thought I'd go ahead and do this before I go down to the beach. Here's a little fan that they brought. There's a lamp. Oh, I'm going in for just a second. I wish they could, wish they could have had some surge protectors for this. Okay. I'll put it on for just a second. There you go. Nice LED light. And then looking. Look at this. Look at this there. Here you see. Hi. Here's another light. Let's see. Here's the other closet. Or the other shelf. Look at that, that looks like a nice beach house. I like this picture. Also, it does have a ceiling fan. Hunter, I do love ceiling fans. I'll make a video of them on a separate video. There's the light. And then here's a closet. 
Oh, there's a smoke detector or carbon monoxide. Got a sprinkler here, air conditioner there. Got one there. That one's that one's kind of a little old. That one's kind of breaking, like coming out. Well, I, I gotta fix that. Here's the closet, which features a light storage closet. Got a sprinkler in there. That red thing will break if it gets hot. Here's the back room. All right, now this is a little better. Look at these mirrors, who do you see? Hey. Look at this mirror, who do you see? Hey, all right. Sinks. It's cool how the building has two sinks. The bathroom here's got two sinks. that mirror. Who do you see? Hey. Look at the mirror. Who do you see? Hey. <laughs> really cool. And here are some more towels. Very nice in here. There's a bathtub, I'll get that in a minute. And there's a sprinkler. There's an air conditioner. I think you just you pull this out and you push it up to close it, pull it down to open. Here's the bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom. Here's a toilet, which is a, I think it's a, it's a color. Toilet brush, toilet plunger, toilet paper, toilet paper holder. Look at that beautiful paint. I gotta empty out the trash cans a little bit. I like that paint. All right, so now I'll come over here. Check this. That one takes a second to come on. So in here you got a walk-in shower, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then look at that painting right there. And then look at this. Got a jacuzzi tub, which See, I took a tub bath. Oh, there's a the thing. Yes, I took a tub bath this last night and Sunday night or something. Yeah, I love this. I love this. This. You probably remember back in 2019, I made a video of me staying at the Palms in Unit 603. Yeah, they had one of these too, but I really like this condo because notice how it's got a jacuzzi tub and and probably like that, maybe if you're laying, if I'm kind of big, but I can still fit, like maybe if, if a little, if little kids want to sit in there and like somebody else just wants to soak their feet there and they can just sit here and soak their feet. But yeah, this is a jacuzzi tub. This is very nice.
I love this. This is very, very, very nice. I love this condo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and also, you know what? That's, that, that light bulb, one there's burned out, but this one here was like flickering last night. So I, as I was taking the tub bath, somebody had to come in here and turn it off and just turn these on because I had these off and I had these on. So, see, that's what it was doing. <laughs> but I love jacuzzi tubs. I mean, this is very nice to relax if you don't want to go down to pull the hot tub. There's the walk-in shower. Very, very nice. You got glass. But I really like this tub. I mean, it's very nice. Very cool. Love clean. Like if, you, if I want to sit here and maybe my brother or his girlfriend or somebody wanted to sit there and soak their feet or just sit here or soak their feet. But these are adjustments. You can adjust the bubbles and that turns on, but I can't turn it on because it'll make a mess. But it's very nice. So let's back on. the living room. There's the table, the bar. There's my brother. Here's the sofa. Features a ceiling fan, which there's the light. Wow. There's a Philips flat screen TV. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. remote all right table bar some DVDs some magazines some cool stuff in here another fan I don't know what nice about this oh there's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse 1939 today. <laughs> Blu-ray DVD player. Alexa, what's the temperature for today? Right now, it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 86 degrees. Yep, we do have an Alexa. Sprinkler, sprinkler there, sprinkler there. Look over here, you see. Hey, there's my uncle's walkie talkies. Forgot to show you this. Oops. Look at that. Got a sprinkler there. Got the air conditioner there. I don't want to. Pretty painting picture. I like this picture. There's the sink. I watch. <laughs> Down there's the pool and the hot tub. Look where I lie. Well, here's some. Check this. Very cool, you just step on that, it turns them on. Same for these. All right. The switch 
here turns the lights on out there. Watch out. All right, so here's the balcony. See, we got a wraparound balcony. Now I can talk better. Sorry, I was doing a little quiet and pausing because my brother got up and then his girlfriend's sleeping, so I can't go in that room right now until she has to wait till she gets up. But here's the patio. See that? Here's the light. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad that the that light's kind of loose, but that can be kind of dangerous. There's the master bedroom in there. And you got a plug right here. There's all my sand toys and oh my phone, my phone case. Gotta take that in, rinse that out. Anyway, got got two chairs here, two there. Actually, four chairs total, but got a table here, got one there. There's the ocean. Yeah, it's got a little bit of down here on the right here. We got a little bit of a bird crap here and some bird crap over here too. Look at that! Not one, but two lights. Yeah, this is, notice how they're kind of sticking out. It's, it's kind of bad. It's kind of a little bad and dangerous. So we gotta be careful. Hope they can maybe fix these someday. Maybe when I get back home, I'm gonna write them a letter and tell them how nice the condo was, but maybe they can maybe fix some things up. But all this seeds, this is bird crap. All, yeah, this is, all this is pretty much, this is bird crap because there's some birds that live up on the roof, like pigeons. Got a little bird crap right here and bird crap there, but there's the pool and there's a hot tub and there's the ocean, which I'm gonna go down after. Over there, there's that's the bay. Over there is the water burger. That's the bay, and there's some buildings here. Yeah, again, this building has 24 units. Like each floor has four units from six to one, like. If you notice how, remember how I said last year? Oh, this building, yeah, this features a wraparound balcony. Remember last year when I was at the Island Princess, except I was on the fifth floor, because the seventh floor and sixth floor weren't available, but this time I got the top floor, the sixth floor, or the seventh floor, like. I like how this balcony wraps around because you can get a good view. Over there is a little pier near the crab shack. Oh, there's our friend, Mr. Security Camera. There's our other friend, Mr. Security Camera. Mr. Security Camera. They got two security cameras watching us. Yeah, but... Oh, something mentioned. See those stairs? Like, see those two stairs and the stairs there? There's a lifeguard. The stair, there's some stairs over there. Well, those stairs, those stairs actually, you actually have access from the ground to the, to the, like to the first floor right there. So those stairs, you got one, two, you got two, like, so you got two there and you got one there that, um, go, uh, up to the levels, to the units. And then, if you look down there, there's one right there that goes to each unit. So, you have private access. You got like private access, but it only. But it's. But they only go. They don't go to the top ones because they're kind of too high, and that. That's the only way they make them. That'd be cool if each unit had stairs you could walk down, but they only have them for the stairs, like on the first floor, like. Because this building basically has seven floors, but even the ground, because you got the ground like the lobby or the ground and then the first floor, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So we're basically, remember how I said that Fort Walton can only be six or seven stories. It, it, it can't be more than eight or 10, kind of like those buildings over there. Remember how like in like, like taller buildings, like, you know, like Destin, Millimar, Panama City, Jacksonville, Tampa, and, and Miami. Oh. Look down there. It's a kitty cat. Yeah, but in Fort Walton Beach, the, the buildings can only be several stories between six and seven. It can't be more than eight or ten. Remember, like in tall buildings, like in like how like Miami has like 
my like Destin, Millimar, Pensacola, um, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, Mobile, and then um, like Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Orlando, and Miami have they have really tall buildings, but like taller buildings. But remember how I said that only Fort Walton can only be seven stories because if if you look way down there, see the that place way down there with the white with the white on top and the, the red on, like the white and the red on top the roof, that El Matador over there, remember how over there is that Air Force and they can only make these buildings certain heights because it's seven, like six to seven stories because of that Air Force. Now, if you're wondering why those buildings are taller over there, why these buildings aren't as tall as they are, that's because they're not near the Air Force. If there wasn't an Air Force nearby, they can make them taller. Like if they didn't have an air force, they can make the buildings taller. So that's why these are only seven stories. Because those are taller because they're not right over by the air force. Because over there is the bay. But over there, that place over there is the Palms, which back in 2019 I stayed there. And that unit right there, 603, which they only had 23 units. But like the second, third, fourth, and fifth floor had five units and the, the sixth floor had three units because on the other floors had the two bedroom and the top floor had the three bedroom bathroom units. The only thing I hated about that place was the pool. Like, well, because the pool wasn't big enough, deep enough, long enough, and it, it was over by the side. I mean, this pool's not in front, but this pool's very nice. Like, you can see the pool like that's the pool and that's the spa and down there is the parking garage or the parking lot there's my uncle's truck yes <laughs> and down there you can actually there's a parking garage you can pull over or curl under over there's the vents and the the, the dryer vents and the air and the bathroom vents but yeah this is a very nice room i mean condo i like this one between this one and the palms I stayed in, I like those two. And my third favorite was the one we stayed in last year. My fourth favorite was the one we stayed back in 2021 at the Islander. So all the condos I stayed at, such as Island Echo, Islander, um, Golf Dunes, um, the Palms, Island Princess, and Sea Dunes. I really like this condo the best. Between this one and the palms wouldn't be bad. Now, there is a new condo they built called Blue, which is a new condo, which actually some of the units have four, some of them have four bathroom and slash bedroom units, which they're kind of expensive. But again, the, the reason only Fort Walton can be seven stories because way over there past that El Menador place is that Air Force. If they didn't have an Air Force, they can make them taller. So this this is why Fort Walton can't be as tall like buildings like 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 how like in Miami or like Tampa or Orlando how they can't be like like 800 and 1000 feet tall because of the air force but that's why Miami has taller buildings because it's not like those other cities like Tallahassee Jacksonville Orlando and Miami they're not near the air force so that's why they have tall buildings but between or like just like Miami Beach, Panama City Beach, Panama City, Jacksonville Beach. I really do like Florida. Now I wouldn't I would I wouldn't mind to go to Miami and visit. If I could handle New York and Chicago, I could handle Miami and Jacksonville and Orlando. I wouldn't mind to go to Tallahassee to see the capital. But I would love to take a trip to Miami, which maybe I can do that. maybe I'll get to do that someday. I hope so. But anyway to see way that way 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 over there is another there's some condos way way buildings way 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 over there i don't know if you can see them if you can't yeah there's way way over there you can barely see them but yeah very nice so yeah, I gotta make this do quick because I'm, I'm getting ready to go down a little bit. But yeah, again, this is a very nice balcony. 
Um, I'm just, yeah, this is a very nice condo. And then this is my first time going to Florida in the spring. Cause we let me go in the fall, but I'm glad I got to go in the spring. Cause I, about two, three days ago, my brother was already kind of take me to that big Kahuna water park in Destin, which was cool. Over there's the, the other one that in the Navalis or I don't know what the name of that one is. I kind of forget. I'll have to look it up. Nautilus. That's called the Nautilus. I did, my friend was staying there and I got a quick video of the condo there too, but I just made a quick one, but so yeah, I noticed, so there's actually, tw the, again, this, this one has 24 units, like total, but each, each floor has four units, see, so there's 24, so like some condos here have six floors and some have seven, like, like, like last Last time I stayed at the Island Princess, the the lobby, the ground floor had some units. Like some units here, in like some units, some of the buildings here have units on the ground floor too. So like some, it'll even go from like the, the they'll have the numbers maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or G one two three four five six, or lobby one two three four five six, or G two three four five six, or G or L. Two, three, four, five, six, or L one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but these buildings can only be again. This is the reason only Fort Walton can be seven stories because of the Air Force, and they don't want planes crashing in the buildings. The reason those can be taller because they're not near the ocean. If Fort Walton didn't have an Air Force, that can make them taller, which would be kind of cool. Kind of like back in 2021 when I stayed at the Phoenix Ten in the Orange Beach, which is what I was up 14th. I was up. I was up and I was up seven more feet or seven floors. I was up even more. I was up seven more floors, like 14. I was way high up, which I got a better view, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't be scared to stay in Destin, Millimar, Panama, or basically Miami. I'd love to go to Miami someday and maybe the Key West, but Fort Walton's very nice. It's not crowded because the buildings are not as tall because of the Air Force. Well, I guess I'll go back in the condo. There's the sofa. Look at this. This swing. It's got a little swinging chair in there as well. Again. I can't go in, I can't go in, this is the bathroom and their bedroom here, I can't go in there right now because my brother's girlfriend is sleeping. Here's a breaker box. I guess we'll end right here. Look at me, who you see? Hey, <laughs> all right. Well, 1124. All right. Well, again, I guess we'll end for here right now, but for right now, I'm going to end and I'll try to get the other bedroom later because I have to um, do some other stuff, but I will get videos of the ceiling fan separately. Anyway, see, see, so you can see out there, that's Fort Walton Bay. I wouldn't mind just staying in those buildings right there, but even though they're not near the ocean, but that I get a good view there. But the reason those buildings can be taller because they're not near the Air Force. If Fort Walton didn't have a tall building, if Fort Walton didn't have the Air Force, maybe they can make it taller. There's Tom Thumb. Anyway, I guess for right now, I'm going to stop the video and, and make some videos of the fans or something. But I promise I'll try to get the other bedroom later on with my girlfriend-in-law, which I call her when she gets up or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until then, I'll see y'all later. Until then, thanks for watching. Until then, that's going to be it for right now. And I'll see y'all back in a little while. This one's got little LED lights, too. I'm about to turn those lights off. There we go. Yeah. So you got this door here. Here we go. See, I've got to show you. This door opens up too. 
to mark this. in the oh forgot you can I forgot I forgot to show you all this yeah these curtains you can pull these curtains down you have to got these curtains here yeah but you got these curtains you can close what the heck heck there we go this door to lock. Let's see what the heck the problem is. Hmm. This one doesn't lock. There we go. Now I got it locked. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, I forgot to show you that. Sorry. These work too. There's the pole down there. There you go. Can close these. to show y'all that so I guess I'll get back to y'all later but yeah curtains can ouch I'm okay anyway so you got that switch that switch and the other switch controls the lights. 
All right, well, yeah, I'll show you. There's my toilet thing. Here's the kitchen table. Anyway, all right, guys. Again, I'll try to get back later. As soon as my, as soon as my brother's girlfriend gets up, I'll get to the other bathroom and bedroom. Until then, that's it for right now. All right, guys. Now, this is after like a whole hour. I gotta make this video quick, but this is the bedroom where my brother and his girlfriend slept in. So she just got up, so this, I thought I would be patient just to do this. Cool. Lamp. Here's a Sanyo flat screen TV. Hmm. Senio. There we go. I'll watch it. See? There's his clothes. Empty cabinets down here. He got some. He got some. There's the, oh, this one has a window, so I can, raise this up, see, got a little window, there's her suitcase, this is the bedroom, so see, this is actually a bunk bed, see, does have a ceiling fan, a white one. Here's the closet. Here's the other closet. Oh, that's a sofa. Well, mattress sofa you could sleep on. Here's the bunk bed. Sprinkler, carbon monoxide fire alarm, or fire alarm, smoke detector slash carbon monoxide. This is the bunk bed. Welcome. Meet me at the beach. Gone surfing. I like those decorations. Look at this. That looks like a starfish. This is a very nice room. Here's the back of the bed. And then here's the other bathroom. I like that. So you gotta... Shower. Shower. Toilet. Toilet. All right. There's a the sink. Look at me. Where do you see? Hey. Under here. Where the blow dryer is. This is my brother, see? This. Come out there, see? Keep this door locked. So see this? Gotta burn that bulb there. That turns on the light. Anyway. See? See, oh, I like these little hangers. You got two little fish. I like this little seagull decoration, fish decoration. I like this picture frame of the seashell. I like this fish. This is a very nice condo. Anyway, let's get out here. Okay, I'll turn the light out. So, this is the other room. 
this again I'll get this I'll make a video of the ceiling fan separately but anyway just ignore that that's it's got a DVD player too anyway well so this is the look it's got no light like no night light down there that's the internet all right guys well I guess for now I guess for now we'll end right here so I hope y'all enjoyed this condo tour so tomorrow's my last day actually so if I don't make the fans tonight I'll get them tomorrow but anyway I hope y'all enjoyed this condo tour if there is something I forgot let me know and I'll try to get it soon but anyway I'm gonna get off and go down to the beach because it's like 12 30 and I'm not gonna have much time so I gotta get going but anyway hope y'all enjoyed this condo tour anyway thanks for watching until then there's some alarm clocks under there which we took out because we aren't using them right now but thanks for watching until then that's gonna be it so there's some houses with poles i may move to florida someday because i like it rather i move to miami or tallahassee or just wherever anyway i wouldn't mind to go i still wouldn't mind if i had to move to miami i wouldn't be scared anyway all right guys thanks for watching until then that's it hope you enjoyed that something i forgot to mention there's a can opener too. A toaster and a coffee pot. Oh, another coffee pot and a blender. Forgot to mention that. Got the condo. There you go. Oh, look at that. Something I forgot to mention earlier in the video. As you can see, look at this little weird crack. That's kind of odd. They're going to have to fix that. But yeah. Forgot to show that earlier last. That two days ago when I was videoing the condo. But yeah. It's very weird.